flannels out. Yes. What's the temp, do you know? 46 or something. Mm -hmm. It's nice. How are you feeling about today? Really good. What happened in the middle of the night though? I woke up in a cold sweat again <laughs> over the whole deal. Not this project. There's no reason to sweat about it. We owe a lot to Lark and so I had that panic last night. I need to talk to them and tell them maybe we we're gonna change things up. We're not giving up, but it might not look like exactly what we talked about. I don't know. I think we're officially canceling project three. I think we have to. He is very concerned about the windy road and if he's concerned, I'm concerned. I gotta say, yesterday was a ideal day in the mobile shop. Really was actually able to use it to its full extent for the first time. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can keep talking? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was good. No, we'll, we'll be done. That's enough. I haven't built an outfeed table yet for my table saw cabinet. Uh, it's on in the plans. I just haven't built it yet. So Lauren is going to be my outfeed table. And I wanted to show her how to properly catch wood that's coming out. All right, so say we're pushing these two pieces of wood through. Your instinct, Lauren, is going to be to take this piece of wood and pick it up and like pull it away. You don't want to do that. Your goal as an outfeed table and a catcher is just to hold the weight and let the wood do what it wants. Because if you pull this one this way, you're also tweaking this one just a little bit this way, and this can catch the blade and that's how it kicks back. Another thing you don't want to do is pull through as I'm feeding. Because if my thumb is here and you jerk it by accident, you know, my thumb could go into the blade. Your goal is to be like as, as light as a feather or just a baby bird, maybe a little stronger than a baby bird, you're holding the wood and I control it until it's clear of the blade and then at that point, you can pull it out from the saw. It's a family affair here, everyone's helping. What are you doing, Whitley? Watching. <laughs> you say supervising, that means you're in charge. How's it going, how are you feeling? What are you thinking about how you're feeling? We might be falling behind a little bit, but the weather is gorgeous, which always helps. I don't know, does that make me an unstable person if the weather affects my mood? Is this planned this way? Uh, it's a happy accident. How much longer have you been able to We gone Monday. Got a big old project going. No, it's nowhere near a permanent thing. No, this is his workshop, but it'll be gone soon. We just had our first complaint about the trailer in the street, hopefully. Everything's okay. Okay, good news. He wants it to be known that it was an official complaint, but I think he's gonna be okay. So, trailer can stay. For some reason, this time of day always gives me the uh, the warm and fuzzies. It's nice and cool out, the sun is setting. So, feeling good, feeling good today. Oh, after two days of use, I can very highly recommend these cheap, cheap saw horses from Tractor Supply. They have super strong hinges, so they don't open up on you. They have these handy, Ply, or uh, two by four slots that you can rip and cut without cutting into your two by four or your sawhorse. They have what appears to be uh, extension cord reels. They have little rubber feet so that your wood doesn't slide around on it. Uh, they have little screw holes so you can hang them on the wall that I'm just learning as I'm talking about it. And they're wider, stronger, and sturdier than the ones from the Home Depot and the same price. So if you need cheap sawhorses for your shop, track your supply, 25 bucks. Buy them now, thank me later. Lauren, what are you doing? I want my son. But why are you crawling across the floor? Because Hudson's still awake. I don't want to go through.